Hello, my fourth grade mathematicians. Today we're going to be talking about step-by-step -step model drawing. Now, model drawing is a way that you can draw a model to help you organize information in a word problem. When we organize our information with model drawing, it makes it really clear and simple to understand if we're supposed to add or subtract, multiply, or divide. The first step in model drawing is to read the entire problem. This problem says Jade has 128 baseball cards, Kyle has 153. If Jade and Kyle combine their baseball cards, how many cards will there be? The second step in model drawing is to write a sentence that will help you answer this question. We're not looking for the answer, we're looking for a sentence that will help us determine what the answer would look like. So if the question is how many cards will there be, our sentence might be They will have blank cards. There are many ways to write this sentence. You're welcome to write it any way you wish. The next step is to determine who and or what is involved in the problem. Well, there's Jade. He has some cards. And Kyle, he has some cards. And they want to put them together into one pile. Step four is to draw a unit bar. Now, a unit bar is a long, skinny rectangle that's going to represent the largest unit in our word problem. So if Jade has cards, Kyle has cards, they put them all together. This unit bar this time is going to represent the question, how many cards will it be all together? The next unit bar that we draw is going to be the same exact size, because we're talking about the same unit, but we're going to divide it into chunks this time. We're going to organize our information. We know that Jade has some cards, and we know that Kyle has some cards. As we look at Jade and Kyle's cards in this chunk and this chunk together, they will equal the whole unit. The next step is to compute the problem. You're welcome to compute it any way you like. Today, I'm going to use expanded form. I'm going to say that Jade has 128 cards and that Kyle has 100 50, 3 cards. When I add those together, I know that 8 plus 3 equals 11. 11 can be represented as 10 and a 1. 50 plus 20 plus 10 equals 80. 100 plus 100 is 200. I can quickly see that they will have 281 cards altogether. See how nicely the model drawing helped us organize that information. Model drawing can be used with any word problem. Let's try a different type of word problem. Step one, read the entire problem. Larry had 118 pieces of candy. He gave 49 pieces to his friends. How many pieces of candy did Larry have left? Step two, write a sentence. A sentence that will help us paint a picture of how we're going to solve, or what the, what the question, Mm, sorry, what the question will look like in the end as an answer. How many pieces of candy did Larry have left? Larry had blank left. Now we need to determine who and or what is involved in the problem. Well, there's Larry. He's the only one in the problem, the only who. What is involved? He has candy. He's giving some away, and we want to know how much he'll have left. Our next problem is to draw a unit bar. And this unit bar is going to represent the largest number in the word problem. In this word problem, this will represent the 118 pieces that he started with, because that will be the largest unit. And that unit is shared between the pieces that he gave away and the pieces that he still has. Now that we've organized the information right here in our model drawing, we can easily say that, see that we need to subtract 118 from 49. Remember, you can compute it in any way you would like to. Today, I'm going to use a tree model. 8 subtract 9 is negative 1. 10 subtract, I'm sorry, subtract 40 is negative 30. And 100, subtract nothing, is 100. 100 take away 30 is 70. And 70 take away 1 
shows us that Larry had 79 pieces of candy left when he shared. What a generous friend. Let's try one more type of problem with our model drawing and see if this truly can work with all kinds of word problems. Remember, first step, let's read the question. While digging through her clothes for ice cream money, Mary found seven nickels in her jacket pocket and three quarters in her pants pocket. How much money did Mary find? Step two, let's write that sentence. How much money did Mary find? Our sentence might look like this. Mary found, I'm just going to leave it at that. You could write blank in her pockets or this much money. That'll do for now. The next step is to determine who and or what is involved in the problem. Well, remember, it's Mary. She has two pockets, and they have different kinds of money in them. The unit bar is going to represent all of the money that Mary had together. That's what we're trying to find out. Let's put a question mark right there. This unit is going to equal all of the money, but it's going to be in chunks. The first chunk is going to be the nickels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we know the nickels are how much? You got it. Five cents. We'll put fives in these seven chunks to represent the nickels. Next, we know that she found some quarters. Three quarters. And quarters are worth, you got it, 25 cents. I want to show you another thing you can always do with unit bars to make things a little more friendly. Because don't we love it when numbers are so much more friendly and easier to use. We can draw another unit bar. This unit bar is going to represent the same amount of money. But we're going to simplify it a little because we know that 3 quarters equals 75 cents. And that 5 nickels equals 35 cents. Now it's time to compute. Like I said, you're welcome to do the math any way you like. The purpose of the model is to help you realize what kind of math we need to be doing. Today we're going to add these two together. If I had 30 cents and 70 cents, that would equal 100 cents, and 100 cents equals one dollar. Five cents and five cents equals ten cents. You can quickly see that Mary found one dollar and ten cents in her pockets. I wonder if that's enough for the ice cream store. Remember as you do your homework tonight that I want you to use model drawing in all of the word problems. Step one, read the entire problem. Step two, write a sentence. Step three, determine who and or what is involved in the problem. Step four, draw the unit bar representing the largest number in this problem. Step five, draw other unit bars to chunk and organize the information to match your needs. Step six, Compute the problem, and step seven, write the answer. Have a great day.